Hello everyone, in this video we're gonna learn about beta blockers and I hope you guys know the suffix lols. So anything which is ending with lols, metoprolol, propanolol, they all belong to this classification. Beta blockers are also known as beta adrenergic blockers. So that's why these medications are given to the patients who suffer from hypertension, angina and arrhythmias. Now let's just learn about the six very important Bs what are tested in your NCLEX. First of all, you need to understand we have two kind of beta receptors in our body, beta 1 and beta 2. So beta 1 receptors, they are found in heart and how they work is by blocking those receptors and hence reducing the heart rate and contractility. Whereas beta 2, they are present in the lungs and in the blood vessels. So how they act is when they block those receptors, it can induce bronchoconstriction. So that's why coming to the second B, you have to be careful about bronchoconstriction. So this means make sure you're very careful or check with a physician that do you really want to give this medication to people suffering from COPD or asthma? Coming to three. So now you know as it acts on beta one, it can reduce the heart rate. So B for bradycardia. That's what you need to watch as a nurse. Number four, reduced blood pressure. So as these medications, they're acting on the heart receptors, so it can induce the hypotension in the patient. Number five is blood glucose and this is most tested in NCLEX that beta blockers can mask the hypoglycemic effect in the patient. So you have to be very careful when you're giving beta blockers to somebody who has diabetes. Last B which is bad mood. So this can also induce some changes in the patient's mood. Let's just quickly summarize. So we have six B's. B for beta receptors, B for bronchoconstriction, then another B is for bradycardia, then B for blood pressure, which is reduced blood pressure. Then we have hypoglycemia. And last but not the least, we have bad mood. I hope you guys enjoyed learning this video with us. Don't forget to put the comments in the comment section and give us your suggestions.